What's your favorite smell? The smell of fresh cut grass may remind you of summer. The scent of an evergreen tree may take you back to Christmas when you were growing up. But do you know how to use smell to your advantage? Yeah, can certain scents make you feel less tired or more comfortable? Maybe even help you eat less. More companies are even using smells to boost their sales. David Highfield, with his nose for news, has been <laughs> sniffing out this one for us. David. I have to tell you, this was fascinating for me. It, it turns out certain scents can have quite an effect on us. Some may boost productivity at work. Other smells may help you alleviate stress. It turns out there is a local company that knows all about this, and what they know may be able to help you. This is called our repertoire room. This is every fragrance that we've made. Roger Howell is showing us around Alpha Aromatics in O'Hara Township. This room has more than 5,000 scents he and his colleagues have created. With names such as Fireworks Sweet Sizzle, Morning Freshness, Cucumber, and Jamaican Lime. Only a discerning sniffer can detect the difference from Italian Lime. Fresh baked cookie. Okay. Oh, I gotta smell this. Sure enough, they've captured it on the nose. Hal is the chief perfumer. A lot of people don't even know that we're here, but we've been doing this for some time. What they do is create scents for clients around the world. Big names you'd know if they were allowed to reveal them. Air fresheners, colognes, perfumes, candles, all get their aromas here. And does Hal have a favorite creation? I love them all. Just like if you were a... a the parent of all these children, you can't find a <laughs> favorite. Not, a favorite. I'm not going to pick a favorite. Business is good with more companies realizing the power of appealing to the nose. For example, popcorn. There's the scent for popcorn that movie theaters will put out, and they're blowing that in the air and they're saying, makes you want to say, oh, I got to go and buy the popcorn. Did you know the scent of baked goods can help you sell a house? Makes it feel like at home, like it's already welcomed. But now some companies are taking scent suggestion even further. A European study found the smell of melons can make grocery store customers buy more. At least one department store chain reportedly pumps a coconut scent into the bathing suit section. Some research shows customers spend more when they smell warm scents like vanilla or cinnamon and some businesses just want a classy signature scent. You'll see these a lot in hotels in their lobbies you know they want to be able to make you feel that it's a luxury hotel. Oh and that new car smell? Hal says in some cases it's engineered. But what about you? How can you use the power of scents? I like it a lot. I would buy this if you sold this. <laughs> Tim George at Alpha Aromatics is having me sample some combinations they mixed up. The first is meant to relax you. This is Mother Nature doing her work right here. It has lavender and chamomile, both known for having a relaxing effect, and a little citrus, which is supposed to energize you. By smelling them, it can almost give you that sense of, okay, I can do this. Okay, it's going to give me energy. And, keep me going. Next up, something for anxiety relief, which has peppermint for a cool, refreshing sensation, as well as sandalwood, a scent from a tree. It makes you feel secure or safe or... Yes and yes. Okay. So everybody, I mean, that type of grounding, where you just feel that, you know, like a big hug. <laughs> How's that? Now, if you're a little skeptical... There is this well-known connection between smell and memory. Meet Nathan Urban, a neurobiologist at Pitt's Brain Institute. He studies, among other things, how early experiences with smells affects our brains. He says if citrus makes you feel energized, it's because of an early association. When do you smell citrus? When you might be drinking orange juice or eating citrus fruit? that has a lot of sugar, you might then feel more energetic. And just because it's from an association doesn't mean your reaction isn't real. Maybe the smell of apple pie reminds you of grandma's kitchen. It could put you in a better state, and that's a physiological change. I mean, you could measure hormone levels. You could measure a whole variety of things. While he's not involved in creating sense, that's exactly what they're doing at Alpha Aromatics. And work there? never seems to stop. Are you walking around all the time just smelling things? Like, is your, your brain always working like that? Like, you know, unfortunately, I wish it wouldn't, <laughs> but absolutely it does. 
And get this, a German study found that just having the scent of olive oil associated with food led participants to eat fewer calories. The thinking is that olive oil is more likely to make you feel satisfied. Again, that's just one study, so there probably needs to be more research into that, but obviously lots of people would love to find a way to eat less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for now, sure. Now, I brought with me one of the samples that they mixed up at Alpha Aromatics. Uh -huh. This is for de-stressing. So I want you guys both okay. to take just a whiff of this and see what you think. Ooh. It's very nice. It's, like it's lemony. Very, yeah, citrusy. Yes, yes. In fact, you're supposed to sell or smell the citrus lemon first, okay. and then there's another layer, sort of a chamomile layer after that. Mm. Are you feeling not sure I'm getting the second layer? It I'm, smells I'm, good, though. I'm halfway Are you feeling relaxed. relaxed? Yes. I feel better with some getting chamomile, there. but right. no, it's good. <laughs> it's nice. It's actually making me think I need to maybe wax something with lemon pledge. <laughs> but, but no, it is very, uh, it's, it's a very cool oh, song. Yeah. Wow, what it's, a great story. I love this yeah. concept. Fascinating. Science yeah. really is interesting. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks, David. Thanks.